On our way back to Vegas for the 2010 CES, the world's largest international consumer electronics show. It's over 200,000 attendees, 2,500 vendors, and miles of possibilities. Mark and I are on a mission to build a live HD streaming studio for Robert Scoble on a budget of $10,000. We're at CES 2010. Come on in. Match over and pick up to the right. Pick your ID. Business card will be helpful. Speaker ready room to the right. So the studio we're trying to build, we're trying to build it for right now. What we're talking about doing for $10,000 or $5,000 is akin to what you know ZDTV built for $300 million just 10 years ago. So I'm building a studio in my house. I want three cameras, and I am working at camcorders. Obviously, less money is better, but we still want HD, and we need video out. These are going to be lockdown cameras that are video out, so I don't need I don't need any memory. So we're going to have HDMI out as well as component. Do the other cameras you have have HDMI? Have HDMI out. And what? Where does HD start in price? HD starts at about four ninety nine on the HFR series. So what do you think? Three of these. I'm Bob Snyder. I'm with LG. So I'm a national product trainer. Very cool. And what are we seeing here? Uh, right here, we're taking a look at uh, Skype on an LG TV. So LG uh, has Skype built into uh, 10 different models of their TVs across the board, L LCD, LED, and plasma TVs. Now these TVs have an Ethernet jack in them then? They do, so the connection is via Ethernet. The resolution right now uh, is a VGA resolution. The camera is optional right here. This is really just built into our umbrella of Netcast on here. So Netcast uh, will include the Skype logo, Netflix, YouTube, Yahoo widgets, Wireless services just keep going on and on and on. I think convergence is definitely here. And there's no reason that the living room is going to be disconnected from the rest of your social life. You can, you're always connected now with your mobile phone, you're connected on your laptop, and the TV is just another big screen. So the Boxy Box is going to cost less than $200. It's going to do 1080p videos, Flash 10.1, so almost anything from the web will, you'll be able to play. Boxy is yeah. one of my favorite things. I want this tomorrow. Well, what do you think about 3D TVs? I'm asking. I, they're cool in the way that a 108-inch TV was cool three years ago, right? Right. right. But uh, I don't see buying one anytime soon. Well, that's interesting. Because there's no content. Robert, great to see you. Thanks, man. Rack space, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, welcome to the future. It's happening right now here at Intel. What this is, is this is called InfoScape. It is being run on a single 2010 Core i7 processor. Big microphones. So I'm building a studio in my house, so I okay. just want to look at your products. And this is the Yeti. Okay. $149. It's taking the snowball to the next level. And what it is, the, the capsule technology is like it's unparalleled in this world. I mean, there's okay. nothing else out there. I'm building a live TV studio in my house and I need three, three cameras. I want to keep the cost down, but I need them in HD and I need video out. We have the new Exmor R sensor, which um, basically when you record in low light, lots of times what happens is you get a lot of noise, right? Yeah. Well, especially in the blacks, that's where it really uh, shows up. The Exmor R sensor is, actually makes the camera, or the sensor in the camera, two times more sensitive to light and have less grain at the same time. Yeah, these big light panels are $1,600 a piece, sure. so sure. I could buy 
better cameras and I, less lights. Absolutely, absolutely. Very cool. Uh, do all the cameras have mic in in case I want to go take it out? Our higher end models will have the uh, the mic input, so I would okay. stick with maybe the CX 550B. Well, thank you so much. You're We're gonna now go into buying mode. We have some really good ideas of what we want to do. What you know, what kinds of equipment we want to buy, and uh, what we want to do with it. So yes, this is the grand opportunity for filmmakers, for broadcasters, for producers to really create and build out and link up with significant content networks. Who's documenting what's happening right now at this moment with tech from the eyes of filmmakers, with the hearts of technologists, with the goal of really truly seeing an explosion in quality web content to really compete with old media.